2019 David Makes Bus TV. I'm here with a legend, Paul Wolf. How are you doing, man? I'm Paul Legend. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, we got, yeah, we got some rumble from, from, the, from the event. So, we are here with Fix Audio. Yes. Is that your new brand, right? Yes. Okay, tell me something about what I'm well, seeing here, because it's got, really interesting. We've got a, a modular console that's available in stereo, surround, and immersive. All right. Which is 11.1. The module, the design is basically, you can set up any angle you want and any curve. These are all hingeable. Oh, really? So you set it up. When you buy a console, I send you the buckets. You set it up the way you want it. Send me a picture. I make the side pieces, and we go from there. The module is basically set up so you have three inputs that you can sum together. Okay. All right. It has a trim for the input. The input goes into the fader. The fader has a panner and a level control. Okay. And it also has a fader to zero button, so you can you can either do it in the master or you can do it on each channel. Set the fader so it fixes it there. Oh, so right. no matter you go like this, no matter what you do, it sets there. Oh, nice. So you have a master master cut, master on. When you solo, solo in place, they turn blue. Okay. But if you're doing like a breakdown, you solo two channels, then you can mute the kick and mute the snare, and then when you come out of it, they're muted. Nice. You can see them. Nice. And then you have this right here, which is an indicator of what's going into the channel. All right. So you have a button. There's also a button that kills that so it doesn't blink if you don't okay. want the, the blinky stuff. Is that a remote? No, this is just a, this okay. is my, like, pseudo center section. All right, okay. But you can also control the inputs from here. You can turn them on or turn them off nice. from the master section. And you also have solo modes yeah. and the other modes. So you basically have, you go from there, you got three stereo buses. Right. Then you have a, a single knob EQ, which which is like boost, boost high, cut low. Kill? Yeah, it's like a tilt. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I, I love it too, cues. Yeah, but that, I can't use the name because it's trademark. Oh, all right, okay, so I, I've used it. <laughs> I, call it I call it the TQ. Okay. Then you have a high and a low pass sweep filter. Nice. Then you have an insert, and the insert has a blend on every channel, so you can wow. blend anything right, right on the channel. Wow. And then you got your inputs, and you got two monitors sends and a stereo send and the stereo send is set up so if you hit the external input without a send assigned okay. this level control controls the level of that back into the module okay so you can put it you can mic a guitar send it out to an effect bring it back into the same channel wow. so when you, when you when you adjust this it varies accordingly oh <laughs> or when you when you hit that now this level and panner now become a separate mixer okay so you got that, then you got an optional 8 bus matrix if you want it. And then that front guy 500 series? It, well, that is not because it's uh, it uses the pins differently. Okay. So the connector is actually offset. So it's proprietary yours. Yeah. So it's just for this. But okay. It's got eight buses. It's got pre and post in. So it comes off the module pre or post. So you can pick which one you want. So you can use this for Q-Sends or whatever. But it's optional. You don't need to buy that. Then you got 500 buckets and you got meters. Nice. So the faders, eight inputs, and one bucket is 8,500 bucks. Oh. Now, the bucket, eight, eight channels will run by itself. Okay. So it has all the mix outputs on the back, direct outs, everything. If you want to expand and go to 16 or 32, you add another <coughs> set of modules. Now, okay. the center section, in this part of the center section, right at the top here, you have your monitor controller here. All right. And this part right here, you have bus cards. Okay. And the bus cards, you can put whatever op amps you want and whatever transformers you want. So you, if you buy like old API 300 cards, yeah. you can put those in there huh. and have your stereo A be that. Uh, stereo B, you can put tone lux and tone lux transformers. Yeah, yeah. And stereo B sounds like tone lux. Stereo C, you can put 990s and nickel in there. So That's, you have three console sounds. That's brilliant design. Yeah. Like everything about it, the routing is impressive to begin with. Yeah. And the possibility to have all that versus is like great. Wow. And these are available right now? Yeah, I've got I've got three in the field. There's one in Germany that it's a 64 input surround. Wow. And then I've got uh, I've got another one that's in Romania with a guy who is uh, that guy Florin, he's an EDM guy, real big EDM guy. Okay. He's got the studio, he's got those big white horn speakers. All right. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really cool. Yeah, I yeah. saw yeah. Totally cool. And then cool. I got Pete Weiss and uh, Andy Hong and, and uh, Reed Shippen. And then uh, Ken, which is the guy that just left with his daughter. Okay. He bought one in Chicago. And then I got two more that are doing actually immersive, where you can do LCR, 
and then the front rear panner actually has a middle position that accesses the side panners for midfield side and then you have the rear pan and then you have what they call lower lower horizontal plane and upper horizontal plane yeah you can pan between the floor and the ceiling and then do quad on the ceiling wow so it's designed for atmos is there is there any other console that is 11.1 no exactly that yeah. was and it, i mean they can do it in pro tools but yeah. nobody's doing height yeah i can pan like right in the middle but it's that is the future basically now especially now well, with vr and well Net uh, netflix sony and a lot of the other film places have now announced that they're only accepting um, music in immersive wow so you people are going to have to do this so i'm going to be building two 48 input concerts nice yeah totally well this was definitely definitely uh, an amazing rundown of your of your gear it's pretty uh, cool very 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 cool <laughs> uh, thank you so much All right and you know guys check out fix audio this is david mix TV, now i'm 2019